five, six, seven, eight. Give us a raise, loser. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everyone, to the Break Room Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Derek, and then there's Trey. Say hi, Trey. No. Just kidding. Hello. You could have just left with a no. <laughs> it would have been a lot of fun if you just went no. <laughs> well, and fuck. just silence. Uh, no. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I... Uh, I I have to admit something to everyone. I I've committed a sin, okay. I've committed a deadly sin. I I've lied to you. I said that we were gonna have face cams today, and that is not the case. I lied, Papa. Uh, yeah, telling lies. No, Papa. Well, I just Gross. lied to Papa too. You know. But uh, yeah, we are gonna have face cams hopefully next week, and we'll get back on track with that. I apologize, but for now, you know. Just enjoy the audio only experience. Uh, well, actually, that's a lie because in this episode, we're doing a tier list, aren't we, Trey? We are. We are doing a tier list. We are doing a tier list on Midwestern insects, and that sounds really nerdy to say out loud. But I think after we get through, it's gonna be funny. Uh, it's gonna be. Funny. Yeah, it'll, it'll be funny once we once we get them. So, as you guys can probably see on your screen now, because I'm gonna take screenshots as we go on uh, for the video portion of the podcast. We have a. Uh, an S to F tier list, but I, I've changed two things. The S tier for our tier list is cutie patooties, and the and the F tier is nightmare fuel, because uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people on the West Coast and the East Coast they get some crazy things, and we we Midwesterners may not have the craziest insects in the world, but to us some of these things are actually terrifying, <laughs> uh, especially one in particular that we will get to eventually. But uh, oh, will I recognize it? Uh, maybe. I don't know if you get them as much as we do, but we'll, we'll get there. Oh. However, the whole reason we decided to make the um, insect tier list, I'll tell you I'll tell you right now, is because of one thing, <laughs> and that is to put the honeybee at the cutie patootie list. That is that is the one, <laughs> that is one we already have identified oh. as uh, S tier, otherwise known as a cutie patootie. So let me save that quick. Hold on. All right. So yeah, the whole reason we made the insect list is to put the honeybee at the cutie patootie list. Me and Trey here, we're we're manly men, right? We we like to go to work and come home and relax and watch some TV like a like a true true man would. But uh, you know, you look at a honeybee and we're like, oh, what a little cutie patootie. It all started, or at least I think it all started when we were playing Minecraft, and then we got to thinking, like, damn, bump not honeybees. I mean, those aren't bad either, but bumblebees. In my bumblebees eyes, are the same. Are, I know they're uh, different, but in my eyes, are the same they're, thing. They're, they, they don't, they don't do it. What was that? Nothing. But what you said? They don't do. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know if my audio was delayed or what, but they don't. Uh, they kind of just exist. They don't. They don't do anything bad. I don't think. I, I think they can sting you. Sting you. But I have never heard of someone getting. Yeah, but they don't right want way. to. Yeah, it's just, not like it's not like they're out to get your blood or anything. Yeah, they just they're kind just of like, fly around. They're just a little chunky. They kind of. They kind of have the <laughs> audacity of a June bug when it comes to flying. <laughs> they're just so cute. Uh, so that's why they're on the cutie patootie list. All right. So we'll we'll, we'll start. Uh, after the the honeybee got put on the cutie patootie list, we have 41 insects to go through. I just chose some of the most general ones that we get in our area. If you live in the Midwest and get different ones, please in the comments let us know. If you don't like the way we rate these, please let us know. Uh, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. All right, Trey? <clears throat> yes. All right, so the first one up is the Asian beetle. You know what the Asian beetle is? Is it just, is it just a ladybug? It, well, no, it's not a ladybug at all, but it looks just like a ladybug. It's the well. orange lady. It's an orange ladybug, because the yes. ladybug is red. So, uh, I forgot to mention to you that what we have to do is we have to decide together on what tier we're gonna put them in. Okay. So, like, so well, we uh, we uh, what's it called? Um, we have to not argue, but like discuss. We have to debate and then come yeah, up with the decision. Yeah. So the June bug, or not June bug, the Asian beetle, uh, like you said, we get them so often here, we basically think it's a ladybug, even though it's not. It's, and they also, it happens from like, uh, uh, like August 
to November. They just invade your home. Oh, yeah, bad. Bad. You'll find them just dead in your windowsill, which, by the way, uh, something I learned, if you have wasps dead in your windowsill, that means you have a gas leak in your house. Did you know that? If wasps are in your windowsill or if they're dead like, in your windowsill? If, if they're dead in your windowsill. Huh. It, it It's not, like, guaranteed, but it's a big sign that you have a gas leak in your house. Oh, well, I guess that's cool. I've never seen a dead wasp in my... Windows I haven't so. either, but uh, when I looked up all the well, different hope insects, not. You're in an apartment building. Well, yeah, but when I looked up all the different insects for uh, the Midwest, that was one of the things on one of the websites that they were like had facts of, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, well. So the June, or I keep saying June bugs. You said that earlier. The, well, the Asian, Asian beetle, beetle doesn't really do anything, right? It just kind of you know flies around. I think they so, eat leaves. I think I've seen that. Yeah, I think they. I think they just nibble. I think, uh, so I think the best place to put it would be the C tier. They're not cool, they're not ugly, you know, they're not bad, they just kind of exist. So, yeah. we're gonna, you cool with the C it's, tier? It's what, yeah, it was just watching it get dragged to a tier that we're rating it on, and it was fun, I don't know, it was fun. <laughs> I wish I could screen record so I could. Give a college presentation on this. Oh, fuck. Alright, next up we have, I, I, I put a picture of a monarch butterfly, but butterflies in general. Okay, uh, I chose a monarch butterfly because that is the state butterfly of Illinois. It's a pretty, pretty those are, yeah, those are the pretty big ones. Oh yeah, and they're. Uh, they I have, guess as far as I know, they're they're endangered. I think I knew that, and yeah, that it may make sense because you hardly see them anymore. Mm-hmm. We and, still get some here from time to time, but when you do uh, see them, they're just kind of like fl- I wouldn't even say flying; they just kind of go with the wind. Yeah, no, the most time I actually see these is like. I don't know. If, when's Summer. the last time you took a walk in the country? As in, like, down a country road? Um, I'll probably see them this summer then. But if I had to get probably, like, two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. So... You don't see them often. When, and when you no, do, they're so, not in the, in a city. No, so when we, like... When Emily and I take a walk... Because we live right next to a road that goes outside of town. Yeah. As, as you know, and so for the audience knows. Yeah. When we walk down that road, there's like a little foresty area on, on the one side. And they're always in the like wildflower patch in the ditch. And that's usually where they stay. And it's, I think that qualifies in itself to be a cutie patootie. Yeah. Awesome. Just download that picture. Beautiful. All right, next up, we have the common ant. <laughs> uh, they they don't do nothing other than just kind of, I mean, they really don't bother me. It's when I go outside to mow, and they're, like, either right next to my doorstep, and they're just in a crack in the sidewalk. You never had them in your home? Um, actually, I guess we did. So, and I think you might remember, um, my the old house we were in, the house before this one, they mm-hmm. were they were coming in through our kitchen window and our uh, mudroom window. Oh yeah. And we had to put ant traps behind the deep freezer because that's where they were crawling behind for whatever reason. And there were just there was just copious amounts crawling uh, next to the tiles next to the kitchen sink. And we had yeah I don't know I don't know yeah, what we... caused them to invade, but we eventually put ant traps down and that kind of stopped them. One year when I lived with my parents in Shannon before they moved you know outside of town. Uh, we had them so bad, they were getting in the bread cabinet and eating the bread oh. and trying to, like, take pieces of it with them That's back funny. to their... I think it's home. funny watching ants take food. It's funny, but not when it's in your own home and they're taking your food, you know, and they're investing your, your you know, shit. Uh, I used to, uh, when I was a kid, I used to go over to my uncle's house with my dad and uh, my, co- <laughs> my cousin taught me how to cook them with a magnifying glass. Oh, and uh, the one you've never done that before? Uh, no, I'm not a freak. Hey, now I didn't do it. I I'm not the one that started it. My cousin did. Okay. I didn't but, cook insects with a magnifying glass. That's crazy. I was playing God that day. Okay, I was the Messiah. And so, um, what we ended up doing, and I sound so sad to say out loud, what we ended up doing was taking uh, a sock. And it was like a really hot day in July. It was like Jesus. I don't know, 95 degrees or something like that. We took a sock, we put a we oh put a, a couple of ants on it, and so we put the magnifying glass on the sock, and then the sock caught on fire. <laughs> so oh. we had to throw it in a rain barrel. That was a good day. But overall, because of that, I would say ants are a D tier. Yeah. Yes, I would agree. 
Okay. Absolutely. Ants, ants fucking suck. I already They're know. not nightmares. I already can kind of see which animals I'm going to be putting in the animal insects. We, put <laughs> in the we should do this. For, we should do this for birds. Oh, trust me. If, if this goes well and we have fun for this, we're going to do this a lot more. I yeah. think this will be fun. Uh, the next one up is the stink bug. You ever seen a stink bug before? Yeah, we uh, we actually still kind of uh, well, we haven't seen them since the cold months. But when we first moved here in October, going into November and then December is when they kind of faded away. Uh, we'd just occasionally have one on the ceiling crawling around, and the cats would see it. Yikes! Do they try and, to like grab it? No, no, they can't. They can't oh. get up to it. They just stare at it like, look at that thing up there. <laughs> and uh, so I'll see it. Morgan's like, ew, gross, there's a stink bug on the ceiling, and I'll go grab. I either grab a fly swat. I don't like to kill them because, well, for one, they they have a name for a reason, so I don't, I don't smash them or kill them. No. Yeah. Um, and if I do decide to dispose of them in the house, I just, like, I'll flush them down the toilet or something. I mean, that's still killing them. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, or sometimes when it's not... When I, when I would just put it outside, I would either take a fl- the fly swatter and let them crawl onto it. They can fly, but uh, whenever I let them crawl onto the fly swatter, and, and then I just go ahead and flick it outside and it, let it be on its way. Yeah, I always see them outside on, like, a twig or something when I, like, walk by a, a low-hanging tree. And I'm always like, oh, you're so cute. Like, I'll tell you right now, if, if their name wasn't Stinkbug, it would go in the cutie patootie list. Are they 100%. actually called, like, is that actually what they're... That's just what they're I, referred to as? Yeah, a stink bug. Oh, okay. I don't know their scientific name. I just know that's what they're called. Well, yeah, on no, I don't expect the, the scientific database. name. I didn't know if that was like if that's just what the Midwesterners called it or if that's what everyone actually refers oh. to it as. You just wait till we get in some other insects. We'll get to that. Okay. They got some names, but this one is just referred to as the stink bug. But I'll tell you what. I'm gonna put this at a C tier unless you think it should go lower or higher. Um C tier is fair. Okay. But I'll tell you right now, if it was named anything other than a stink bug because of the pattern on its back, it would be a cutie patootie tier 100%. They have a weird, uh, uh, this is a weird stomach or bottom underneath them. They have a weird build. Agreed. But it's just the pattern on their back, just like, aw, you're kind of cute. They're kind of shaped like a turtle. It's like, aw. I've seen ones, they're shaped, I've seen, I've had ones that are shaped like a freaking arrowhead. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was like, "Oh, does that? I wonder if that means that's how that's how potent their stink is." I've never okay. They that's smell like they thing. smell like vinegar. I've never I've never smelled one stink before. Yeah, no, I I did as a kid, and yeah, they when you smash it, I've never had it just happen where the musk comes off of it. But if you smash it, you'll definitely smell it, and it kind of just smells like vinegar. That's probably why, because I never smash one. Maybe yeah. I. <laughs> I was no, just about to no. Me back to <laughs> cook, cook that under your magnifying glass and see what happens. <laughs> That's that bug's version of saying, "Take, put that in your pipe and smoke it." <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the caterpillar. Now, this is kind of cheating because it's just a butterfly, but I I put it in here because they're fuzzy, and because of that, I want to put it in the cutie patootie what list. Kind of, wait, what kind of caterpillar though? Uh, just caterpillars in general. I just chose it. Oh, okay, I actually okay. chose a moth caterpillar for this, uh, just because they're fuzzy. Because like butterfly caterpillars are, you know, they don't have any fuzz on them. Yeah. But I'm uh, actually kind of surprised I don't see this in the list. But do you know what a? I want to call it a banana caterpillar. Ooh. Um, not that thing. That not that not the thing we're talking about. But the thing you're talking about is like yeah, your common caterpillars. Whether it's like it looks like a slug. Or it's that those brown fuzzy ones. I love the brown fuzzy ones. Yeah, those those are actually referred to as brown. What was it? Brown woolies. I think is yeah, what it's actually and pronounced. What's fucked up is that down in like Central America or the Amazon, if you touch a caterpillar that's basically fuzzy, you're guaranteed to like get some like stinging on your fingers or possibly even get stung because it's venomous. Yeah, which is crazy because the fuzzy ones up here are just cute. <laughs> yeah, no, I loved them as a kid, but uh, anyway, it's a banana caterpillar thing I was talking about. I remember um, I was out with my dad and his buddies on a country road hanging out where, where they watched the Chiefs game in the garage. Um, and uh, I'm not sure how he found it, but one of my dad's buddies found this giant green caterpillar. Oh. It's like the most stereotypical big caterpillar, but it's in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's I shit you not. It's like the size of three of my fingers. Jesus Christ, it's big. Oh. The fuck was that gonna turn? Oh, it probably turned into a blue tiger butterfly, whatever the fuck they're called. I'm surprised it's not on the. I'm surprised it's not in here unless those are were endangered and now they're freaking extinct. They might be. I didn't find any big caterpillars in the list when what I looked at. Know? I looked at like three or four web websites. But like I said, I just chose caterpillars in general as like a whole, you know. But I remember when I was younger, uh, being outside in the lawn. Yeah. Uh, you'd go up to like the little little plants i had a lilac bush in the backyard and there's these like little plants that grew under it and there'd always be these fuzzy little caterpillars and i let them crawl on my hand mm-hmm. and i always thought they were my <laughs> i was so young i always thought they were my friends because they were like oh they're not gonna he's not gonna bite me or anything he's just a little fuzzy fucker yeah that <laughs> was really cute so i think the caterpillar should go in the cutie patootie list okay the fuzzy ones though yeah the fu- i mean yeah the the ones that are not fuzzy uh, they're A tier, but Fuzzy Caterpillar, Cutie Patootie list. Okay, 100%. so the one, caterpillar I was thinking of are called the uh, Poly- Polyphemous Moth Caterpillar. Oh. It's like the size of a bracelet. Jesus Christ. What kind of a it, moth does it turn into? I don't know. That's fucking Or wild. you could just literally look up large green caterpillar and that, and yeah. Okay. I will after we get this tier list done, so I can. But see yeah, what I it guess is. so. Basic rule of thumb: if you ever see a caterpillar that's fuzzy and, and you're in like some tropical part of the world, probably even like Florida, if you see a fuzzy caterpillar, don't touch it. Well, the same rule goes with like frogs, right? The brightly colored ones you can't touch. Yeah, that's, so that, I guess, that, that, I guess that's like sense. a general rule of science. If anything's colorful out in the wild, there's a reason. Yeah, if nature didn't bother to make it look okay. Yeah. Like, I actually, I, I found a funny video about that today. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to get off topic. Uh, I found this guy. It was a TikTok, I think. But it was on Facebook Reels, and he was like, it was just like a laughing sound effect. And he's, he's like, ha, 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 ha. And then it cuts to him in the hospital. What happened was um, he dipped his hand in a puddle of, of these small little fish. They look like, if you could imagine Venom, like, the Marvel character as a fish. Yeah. That's what the fish looked like. And they're called blue dragon fish. Oh yeah. I know and they're those like, are. they're like the size of your fingernail. Yep. Yep. And if you touch them, they have little, they have little, uh, I guess, I don't know. Like I said, it looks like the, the if fish was a venom or if venom was a fish, um, the tips of their fins have venom on them because they eat, uh, they're known for eating larger jellyfish, like for example the, uh, oh, what's it called? The Portuguese man o' war. That's the type of jellyfish they mm-hmm. eat. They eat that, mm-hmm. and they're those are so small, which amazed me. But they eat those, and I guess when they eat venomous creatures like that, they they output the venom onto the onto their fins. That's kind of crazy. Is that the same one that's in the Amazon River? The blue dragonfish. Yeah. Um, I don't know where they're found. Because that rem- uh, we'll, we'll, I'll say this and then we'll go back to the tier list. Because that reminded me of the Thousand Ways to Die episode where that dude was peeing. In yeah, the river I know what fish you're fish talking about. His, yeah, Th- yeah. Those are not only in. Uh, those are not only in the Amazon. Those are here too. Are they really? Yeah, hang on. That's why I don't pee in lakes or rivers. I'll tell you so, that. So right yeah, now. Morgan's cousin actually. He there's this lake kind of not far outside of where my town. Um, he was swimming in that lake and this lake was known for like being a little sketchy because I guess, I don't know if they had dumped sewage in it or something, but it just had that, that lake has always gotten people sick and there's weird fish in there. And I don't know. Um, it's called a kandaroo fish. If you pee in like a the river, kandaroo fish. if you pee in a river, lake or pond, there's a small chance that you'll have one of these fishes either swim up your, your, your piss stream or Jesus or just if you're just peeing like most common people if you pee like you're peeing in a pool like you're just you know your waist down you're peeing um they'll swim into your your urethra that's gotta be a fast swimmer holy fuck and then they (laughs) they have these fins that expand once they are inside something warm i imagine and then they just (laughs) like a hook they're just kind of stuck in there yeah i'm good on that that's that'd be a nightmare fuel for the fish too i'll tell you that right now they probably don't even do it on purpose they're probably just swimming and they're like what the 
Where am I? <laughs> what's what's this? <laughs> it's warm in here. <laughs> All right. Back to the tier list. Next yeah, up, we have we have the well, I forgot what this is called. Hold on, I'm so sorry. The clover mite. You ever heard of a clover mite? Yeah, I used to think they were spiders. Yeah, a lot of people, I guess, do, because there is a bigger version of this, which is what we know as chiggers. Easy. I that's what I told Emily when I made the list. I was <laughs> like, I can't say that on the podcast, but that's a real thing. You know, they they make. Uh, spray for them. I can say that in public. Those are like the itchy little mites that jump on yeah, you in the summertime. Yeah, you get, uh, like when you're mowing the grass or going in the woods, you like get on you, bite you, and then they'll either die or hop off, and you have tons of little bites on you, or they'll stay on you for and a while. And I've rarely ever been bit by them. It's usually like something like just a bunch of flies or, uh, what's, what's the smaller version of flies? Um, gnats yeah there you go it's either gnats or fly bites or like poison ivy or itchweed or something that i'll get into before i have any chiggers attack me and but what's crazy about that is sometimes you think that's what that is but it's it, it is just a clover mite that got you like 15 20 times and you think it's a plant or something but it's right. just them because it happens to me once every summer i i've kept track but so they're smaller than your fingernail like there's i can't even like describe how small they are like if i could just uh, like about as small as a freaking atom. You yeah, know, they're micro. They're not, yeah, they're not actually that small, but they are micro. Um, I was outside of school when I was like eight years old, and I on one of the sides of the window, it was a brick school. On one of the sides of the windows where the brick window sill was, or the window or the brick window platform, there was a bunch of these, and I just kept crushing with my finger, and, and I thought they were, I don't know what they were, but they were, their their blood is red, and well, they're red themselves, but yeah. They're hot red, and that's why I'm putting it in nightmare fuel, hundred percent. Imagine if millions of millions of those got you. I. That's why they're in nightmare fuel. <laughs> kind of it reminds right. me, it reminded me of that episode at the ending of Indiana Jones and the Crystal Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where that guy gets carried away by a bunch Jesus. of fire ants. Yes. God, what a movie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, is that right. is that a water water spider? Uh, this right here. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to a water spider eventually, but this... I don't know why it inverts the colors, oh, okay. but this is a daddy long legs. Oh. Which, did you know, is not a spider? I think I did know that. What is it classified as? I don't remember exactly. I was reading what? it on the website, but it you is not, a, not spider. a spider. Oh, okay. Are they a type of... Uh, it, are they in the same category as uh, scorpions? I believe they are still... An arachnid, but they are not a spider. Here, how about I? How about I put some knowledge on this? Yeah, please do. Not spider. <laughs> oh, uh, daddy long legs are harvest men. Are familiar Missouri animals? Missouri fuck too. Uh, they're I'd just say all over the United States, but anyways, they are not spiders, but opilionoids. Oh, or, okay. Oh, okay. I definitely, I definitely slaughtered that. Oh, op, oh, op, opilionids, opilionids. <laughs> yes. If we, if we did YouTube shorts for our podcast, that would be a YouTube short clip right there. <laughs> um, but I will say, uh, they don't do anything bad. I remember when I lived in my parents' basement, I used to get tons of these in my room, and I would just kind of look at them, uh, on the wall and whatnot. I'm like, hey, what's up? And I just kind of, you know. Chill there, they, they they, yeah, move. I guess they're one of the things in your home that will like kill just like any other common house spider. I imagine they'll kill pests. Yeah, but here's the thing about them: they have, I guess, so you know the common uh, misconception is that uh, they can't bite you. No, um, they have like the world's smallest fangs in the in the arachnid world. Yeah. And uh, they can't bite you, but they are venomous, just not to us. Yep. But even if they wanted to bite us, they can't. So, because I remember as a kid, uh, one of the biggest uh, things that we, you know how kids talk, one of the biggest things was people would say, "Yeah, they'll kill you. They're like the most venomous spider in the world, and they'll kill you, but they can't bite. They can't bite you." And then I got to high school, and they're like, mm, "You're wrong." <laughs> no, yeah. Like, Unfortunately, some people feared daddy long legs because they've heard myths about them being poisonous. However, this is untrue. Yeah, it is. It is not true. They will not. They will not hurt you in any way. If anything, just let them chill out in your house. I know, like people in Australia and shit, they let 
insects chill out in their house because you know it, it takes care of pests or whatnot. And it's also the hear, size of my fucking don't. arm. Yeah, and people here, even if they're like the size of your fingernail, they're like Jesus Christ, kill it. I I don't have a problem with them. I keep them around, so I I think they should D- be an A tier. Oh. Unless you think B tier. I was gonna say the D tier just because I don't like spiders D-tier. anywhere anyway, but. No, okay, yeah. so we'll compromise. We'll put it in C. Okay. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah, that. one of my favorite ones. All right. Now we have the infamous dragonfly. God, I love these things so much. You'll be out on the lake. Like, uh, me and Emily go on kayak uh, adventures here and there in the summertime. And they'll just fly up alongside you, and they'll land on your arm or on the kayak, and they'll just chill out with you. Yeah, they kind of relax. Yeah, they kind of relax their wings, and then they take off again. Yeah, they're they're amazing little guys. I swear. That could be an either cutie pat- <laughs> cutie patooties or a tier. I'm gonna say cutie patooties because have you ever seen a bright blue one? I see all color all colors of them, but it's for me it was always rare for them to get like uh, to either get close enough to land on me or by me because I'd always see them, and then they're like, oh fuck that, or. I'll be swimming wherever I'm swimming, and they'll swoop down for a scoop of water or something, and then they just keep going. Or, oh, yeah. Uh, or I think it's funny when you, like how you said you're kayaking, and they fly next to you or alongside you. Um, I always think it's funny when you could be just, like, sitting at a pond or a lake or something talking with people, and they'll they'll fly, uh, like, they'll hover above the water, and like crackheads, they'll kind of, like, <laughs> they'll just keep changing their position while they're hovering in the same spot at the same time. Then they'll just take off again. But at like, oh, like, take a, the... like a like a VTOL jet. <laughs> yeah, they take off at like Mach one speed though. Once they do take off. Yeah, but they're a little <laughs> cute guys when they when they like to hang around. They just uh, they don't give a fuck about humans. That's what's great about them. And they're 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 just pretty colors. Yeah, so they're they're on the cutie patootie list, hundred percent. I'm surprised right, you didn't next... have. I'm surprised you didn't have the uh, what are they called? Uh, the Boat, boatman bug or boatman th- I can't remember what they're called what is that it's uh so if I refer to this you might remember you might know what they are it's it's like those uh swimmer swimmer bugs oh no it's in here oh they are oh I, I think yeah it's, it's right here oh, oh fucking okay well I look forward to that we'll get All there right. we'll get yes. there eventually yes uh next up we have let me get the name of it here because I don't know what this is I think looks, it's just a was looks familiar Looks like it has oh a long God. snout. Where is it? It's in my... Sorry, I have all the names in one area. I just can't figure out what to identify this as. Oh, oh, it's a deer fly. You ever been bit by a deer fly? Are those the same ones as a horse fly? There are two different things, but yes. Just a big fucking fly? Yeah, the deer fly is a smaller version of the horse fly. Oh. I guess I wouldn't have known And the when difference. they bite, they fucking hurt. <laughs> the, it's Bad. always It's always the Okay, so I guess deer flies and horse flies. You can tell when you got bit by those. My skin yeah, turns it feels a weird like someone punched you. If, no, I just Oh, well, yeah. No, I guess you're right. It feels like you got pinched almost, but uh um and days later, my skin where they I'm assuming they bit me. It turns purple. Huge fucking well every time. Maybe not so much from the deer fly, but from the horse fly. Yeah, you're gonna get a fucking well. Yeah. So um, I think D the or deer fly. Fuel. <laughs> I don't think they're. I don't think they're scary looking. They're just a nuisance. So I think that D picture is makes them look best. scary looking. Why does it look like they have a snout the size of my hand? That's what goes in you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's like, put it in your fuel. <laughs> All right, next up we have the nuisance, the box elder bug. They are nuisance. God, I know. You, wait, no, I'm so sorry. This is not a box lightning elder bug. bug. It is a lightning bug. See, okay, so this is where I was gonna get to. So, the lightning bug and the box elder bug look almost identical. So we'll get to the box elder bug eventually, but this is a lightning bug. Okay, yeah, I guess the good way to tell is look for the orange on their head. Yep, because the box elder bug has orange on their body. Yeah, it's just like uh, ac- orange accents. Yep. Yeah. Did you know that the light or the uh, yeah the lightning bug? Did you know that they're endangered? What? Yep. How do you endanger a lightning bug? Because of invasive 
invasive species that eat bugs, they purposely seek these guys out, I guess. Well, you know, unfortunately, nature has cursed them with this wonderful gift called light. And that's why they are instantly a cutie patootie. Have you... I used to... I was telling Emily about this when I was making materialists the yeah. other day. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted some in a jar because, you know, how, like, that's a stereotype to have some lightning bugs in a jar. Mm-hmm. Well... My mom's like, like I did it. has OCD. I also am a freak and would kill it and then smear the light on my body. Jesus Christ, you fucking monster. <laughs> I had war paint. So no, my, my mom finally one year was like, yes, you can get some fireflies in a jar. And I'm like, awesome, you know? So I get this mason jar, put some holes in the, in the in the top of it. And I get like maybe eight or nine in this thing. I put, yeah. some, I put a twig in there and some, and some grass or, right in there, or whatnot, right? I put it on my windowsill oh God. for the night. I wake up in the morning. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I guess they don't have enough room to move around. Yeah. I don't know. if I thought the, I thought the grass would, you know, like fix that problem. You, you, you know, collected like, so only maybe. males, so they all killed themselves. Maybe. <laughs> but no, I was very sad about that. Wait, but, actually, I think I just figured, I think I just, I'm pretty sure that the males are the ones that do the light, the lightning because... The f- that's how they attract mates. Is that how that works? I thought so. I could be wrong. I thought that's Wait, how it you... worked. Let me let me save this. So I'm putting in the cutie patootie list unless you have a different opinion. No, that's fine. Okay. We don't have any in the A or B tier. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to the A or B tier. So next up we have the fish fly. Oh, what? You ever seen a fish fly? I feel like I need to see a better picture of that thing. It looks like a beetle. Because it, it is, I believe it is a beetle technically, because of the pincher out front. Yeah. You ever been you ever been pinched by one of these motherfuckers? No, I I don't think I've ever seen one. Wait a minute. So, it, it's funny. I think that's why they're called a fish fly. Is I've only seen these when I'm fishing. Okay, you call them a fish fly, but when I look that up, they're shad flies. Yeah. No, that's a shad fly over here. I have okay, those that picture here. just looks like water. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're, I get, they're apparently two different things. So, uh, the okay, fish well, fly, yeah. they, they bite, and they fucking hurt. I mean, they, they, don't, they don't go out of their way to bite you. Like, you have to be in their territory, right? Yeah. They're usually, like, by the water. They're not, like, a pond skimmer, but they're by the water or whatnot, and they chill out. And They're, uh, they're just kind of a nuisance to have around. Like, once you see one, you're like, Jesus Christ, get away from me. Uh, so, with that I've being never said, seen I one think... Of those. I think it should be in the D tier. Fair enough. And because you haven't seen one, I'm just going to put it in the D. Huh. Chill. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the flea. A nuisance. A fucking nuisance. And not only are they a nuisance, they're scary as shit because they're not only translucent, but they're red. It's you little, yeah, you can just see their organs. Yes. It's disgusting. Nightmare fuel, hundred. I don't even want to talk about it. Nightmare fuel, hundred percent. Uh, you've never have you ever had? Has Sammy? Okay, I don't mean to bring it up. Has Sa- for guys for you guys who don't know, Sammy was Derek's previous cat who has now passed on over the Rainbow Bridge. Um, smartest, one of the smartest cats I ever knew. Um, did he ever have fleas? No. Yeah. See, I've never ha- I've never had any animals that have ever had fleas, and and I'm not saying that people who have had fleas on their animals are dirty people, but I will say. I feel like you have to be living a pretty, a pretty uh, relaxed life, leisure lifestyle, if you will, to be able to have an animal that ends up getting fleas. Well, usually it's on dogs because dogs are an inside-outside animal, right? Yeah. So if you're like letting your cat, for instance, outside during the day in the summertime, you're bound to at least get one, right? But once you get one, that's when they multiply. That's just well, how yeah. It don't works. they don't they keep sucking blood? Then they plant eggs and. Yeah, and then they heart, and then they hatch, and then they suck the blood, and then it's just a whole thing. So yeah, fuck fleas, they're horrible. I think, and I I don't think I've ever, uh, I don't think I, yeah, I've never had any animals that have fleas on it. But just for precautionary measures, we've had like that flea cream or some shit that you like rub on the. Now I've never done this to my cats, but I think to my. Uh, my, my parents' dog, when I lived at home, we would sometimes put either a flea collar on that had that weird fucking smell on it. Yep. Or we'd just rub that, like, weird flea cream behind, like, 
on on their back, right behind their neck. Oh yeah, yeah. So because I guess the smell keeps fleas away. But anyways, next up we have the housefly. Uh, instantly fucking either no, I wouldn't even say nightmare fuel. Just D tier. I, I yeah. Flies are assholes. Especially around here, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Just like fucking get away from me. I don't know I'll, how I'll it start, is. I'll start boxing the air, dude. I'm like, get, I'm going <laughs> to fucking fight you. I don't know how it is in the rest of, of the country, but flies in the Midwest are fucking atrociously They multiply populated. by the millions. So many of them things. Um, You ever seen the slow motion video on, on how they avoid getting killed? No, but I just know they have a crazy ass reaction time. So there's this weight tucked underneath. It's like a it's like a counterweight tucked underneath their wing. Mm-hmm. So, to our naked eye, because we can't see this fast, I, and obviously they have they have two eyes, but they have fucking um, like a hundred thousand lenses on their on their both. Yeah, both they have like eyes. kaleidoscope vision, don't they? Yeah, three D three sixty vision. Yeah. Uh, so when we go to swat at them. They have this counterweight that will fucking, like, f- flap out or, like, eject underneath their wing. And that instantly makes them jump backwards. Jesus. Well, they know what they're doing, I guess. They either jump backwards or forward. But either way, as soon as that weight goes off, they fucking, they'll, they'll, they hop and start flying around again. And, you know, the process repeats until you eventually fucking kill it. And it's just a, a sad sack of black guts in your, in your fly swatter. It's crazy that something so unimportant has such a big defense mechanism that's crazy i feel like their only goal in life and they're only alive they're not even alive for that long i think it's two weeks at the most or something like that eight weeks maybe at the most yeah but uh they i feel like they're just a food for another bigger bug well yeah it's just for like frogs and spiders and shit yeah they have they have no purpose to us they fuck they're annoying yeah annoying and next one up the gnat yeah. Instantly, instantly a fucking D tier. The god, stup- the stupid little brother to the fly. Yes, the Midwest fucking picnic bug can go fuck right off, dude. That that ru- that'll ruin any that'll ruin your whole day. You get some gnats by you, ruin your whole fucking day. It's a. I think it's funny how they float in clouds. Like when they're when you're on a sidewalk and you're just walking, and then you look up and you just see like thirty oh, of like, them swarming yeah, around like each other. A thousand in you know, a little mist, just kind of chilling there. Yeah, and if you walk into them, they'll all follow you. Ugh. Horrible. Um, and it's, it's even worse when they fly next to your ear and you hear the little... Mm-hmm. It's like, God, no! Sometimes they'll, like, try to crawl in your ear and you have to fucking... Mm, I have that. had one go, like, uh, up my fucking nose, down my throat. Yeah, I can't I can't tell you how many I've, I've fucking swallowed. It's gross. I hate, being I out hate in the, in the Yeah, outside. So next up we have the grasshopper. Those are cool. You, yeah, these are these are cute little guys. Those are know? just those are just bugs that you see and you go, hell yeah. Yeah, that's why I think this is an A tier. They're not they're not a cutie patootie, but they're definitely up there as like You're a, just you'll just be mowing or something and you just start seeing a boing. Boing? Yep. Boing? Yeah. You're like, alright. And if you get <laughs> if go. you start to, if you really start to annoy them, they'll fucking they'll even hop and use their wings a little bit, then land. I've only ever seen one use their wings like once or twice in my life. It's very rare. If you get like a good, if you get like a grass that has been unkempt for a long time and you start mowing it, you'll start seeing like 10 of them just fly out every once in a while. Jesus. They're just a good handful of them start take off with their wings. All right, next up, this is nightmare fuel for me. This is the horse fly. You ever seen, I, I don't know if anyone's ever, if you don't live... I don't know. I don't know the region that the horsefly uh, resides in, but yeah. if you've never seen a horsefly, it is. It is. It looks like it's a just, regular fly, take, but it's like yeah. eight times the size. They're so humongous. If a hor- if a regular fly went to the gym, yeah. If they got buff as fuck, that is a horsefly, and when they bite you, you will you will you will scream. You'll go, "Ow, what the fuck!" It yeah. It's straight up. It straight up feels like a pinch, like yeah. But, but it's from a bug, and the fact that a bug can do that. And draw blood. Why does a fly draw blood? <laughs> and yeah. you get a huge-ass welt. I think a fly's anatomy is wild, too, because don't they puke on you before they bite you? I thought that was a... Was not a mosquito? No, mosquitoes just have a fucking needle for a nose. 
Maybe it is a fly. I don't remember. Either way, it's going in the nightmare fuel. Needle nose, needle nose. Download that. All right. Next one up, we have the Japanese beetle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, we get plenty of those in my parents' pool. Yep. <clears throat> those little iridescent motherfuckers. I don't mind them. I mean, that's not like they do anything bad. It's just like, why are you in our pool? I've witnessed them chew through tons of leaves, and then, yeah, because if, if you are if you have a tree near a pool, when the wind starts getting real big, they'll fuck, they, I mean, they don't, yeah, they don't, they don't have a choice. They just kind of. They just kind of fly out, fall out of the tree because of the wind, and then yeah, they happen to land in your pool. Well, I believe they actually eat. Uh, I believe they eat pine trees. They like kill them. If you if you have enough of them on your property at once. I don't know what kind of tree is in my parents' backyard. I don't know if it's a oak tree or a birch tree. It might be birch. Are you, talk, are you talking about the ones that that border the backyard? No, no, no. I know those are evergreen or pine trees, but yeah. the one there's a there's a tree right next to my parents' pool. It might be gone now, and I think that's why they took it out. Actually, yeah, I think it's gone, and I think that's why they took it out is because of the Japanese beetles. But it's the same tree that's in the very front of my parents' yard, and I think that's either I think it's a birch tree. Gotcha. But either way, they 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 I've seen them eat giant ass holes on those leaves. Yeah, I mean they're just like a whatever, so I'll put them in the sea. Yeah, yeah. Is that, an, is that an earthworm? No, this is a millipede. Oh, like a roly-poly. Yep, a roly-poly is what we call them. Uh, I didn't put centipede on here because they're, I mean, I know they're different, but they're basically the same thing. So millipede, centipede is in the same category for us today. Okay, well, okay. If we're doing that, I will say that centipedes are nightmare fuel because I used to think, and this wasn't because of Minecraft, I promise you, I used to think that uh, centipedes were silverfish. Oh, and yeah, uh, no, yeah, no, they're they're gross. The first time I ever saw one, I was at my my buddy Grant's house. We were in his basement, and uh, his basement's finished. It's a finished basement. It doesn't mm-hmm. have like concrete floor. It's like a, uh, I don't know what kind of floor it is. It's not it's not like your typical gray concrete. It's painted concrete. Mm-hmm. Um, there's furniture and stuff down there. There's a whole ass bedroom. There's a whole ass half living room. Uh, we lifted up one of my buddy's uh, backpacks, and underneath it was this this gray thing from hell that like took <laughs> off at, this, at like a hundred miles an hour just up the wall with their little legs. <laughs> and it was a centipede, and I was like, "What the?" But have you ever seen a millipede? I I only see them in the bottom of pools. Really. Yeah, I always see them on sidewalks, and they're cute because you'll walk by them, and then they'll, like you said, they're roly polies because they roll up, and you're like, "Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you." <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've never. I don't think I've ever seen one on a sidewalk, or really? if I have, I haven't. I didn't notice. Maybe I killed so some I, of them. Oops. So here's the thing: I was gonna put the millipede at a B tier. Okay. But if you want it lower, you let me know. No, that that works. I'll just I'll just think of the millipede, but the centipedes can fuck off. Okay, I I actually have to agree. But millipedes are cute. So the next one up is, I believe that's a mosquito. Hold on. Where'd my pictures go here? It was in the same category for me as a uh, gnat. Yep, this is a mosquito right here. Uh, Not sure why the colors are reversed, but... I, just to make you identify the shape of it, I guess? Tearmaker.com sometimes re- inverses the colors. I don't know why, but... Yeah, so this is the mosquito. Uh, everyone knows what they are. Uh, in Florida, they give you malaria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think there's really nothing much to say about them. We all hate them. So you I'm, ever gotten I'm, one of those ones that are on too. like crack? What do you mean, like you get they, the like, ones that are like ginormous? Like they should? Oh. They look like they shouldn't even be here. Yes. And you're like, where did you come from? You're carrying malaria. I remember my. It was either my brother or my dad. The one time he had one on him, the I know I know you're gonna know what I mean as soon as I say it, but when they get on your arm and you flex your bicep, they fucking explode. Did you know that? Flex your bicep. Yeah. So if they get on your bicep and they and they and they have their stinger in you or their <laughs> needle, I've never you, I didn't you, know that. Yeah. If you flex, they can't get the stinger out, and it'll cause an overflow of blood through the needle, and it'll explode nice. them. I have to. Yeah. Tr- I'll have to try that. <laughs> That's funny. No, I thought, but uh, 
It's the ones that are so big that like they literally look like they're taller than any other mosquito. And you could almost make out the, the texture or like the color of their blood sack. Like there's like a gray stripe on it or something. Mm-hmm. Like you can make out the details because it's just that big. Those are gross. Those are the ones I can hit out of the air. The regular mosquitoes, I never see them coming. I've never once seen a mosquito coming for me. As soon as I, like, yeah, I have to, like, be looking at my arms or my legs, and if as soon as I see one land on me, you know what sucks, too, because I feel like no matter how quick your reaction time is and you swat it or kill it. Yeah, you're already too late. Their needle is already inside, has been inside your body. Yeah, so you see, you're like, motherfucker, and you smash it and it dies, but it's already got you, and you're like, yeah. god damn it, now I got a mosquito bite. <sighs> All right, next one up. Is something I did not know existed until I looked up uh, the insects. Okay. Which is the pigeon horntail wasp. Have you ever seen one of these? I have never seen one of them. It looks like an earwig. It it is basically an earwig with giant ass wings. Let me this. What'd you say, what'd you say it was called? The pigeon horntail. Pigeon horntail. Mm-hmm. Huh. Maybe I have seen these, but I didn't think I don't know if I've ever seen this or not. That's, I've never. That, they're crazy looking. I believe they are categorized as a wasp. I have never seen one out in, in, in the wild. But apparently, from what I've seen, they are mostly reside in Wisconsin. If a wasp was saying fuck around and find out, it'd be this. Yeah, because it's got huge ass wings. It flies around like a dragonfly. It's crazy. It kind of also looks like if you were to be car- having a concealed carry license, that's what this wasp looks like. <laughs> Carry like, around a three fifty seven because because their stinger is just out in the open. Mm-hmm. So because of that, it's going in nightmare fuel hundred percent. Yep. yep. Hundred thousand percent. Oh, I see what the shadfly picture is now. It's literally just yep. a wave of them. Shadfly, here we go. Uh, so I don't get those here. Those mostly reside on You're the lucky. river. Which is, yeah, because you live close to the river, so you, you come into contact with these so, very often. let me give you guys a little bit of a factoid. Uh, so, where I live, um, there's two bridges that connect me from Iowa to Illinois. Well, I probably just gave away my location. <laughs> I probably just gave away my location. Docks anyway. himself for the 15th time. Woo. Um, so, there's uh, on these bridges, because they're directly above the river, um, if the shadfly growth has been... Uh, good that year well it's not good for us but if for the for the shad flies if they've had a lot of uh mating they're they grow on the water okay their eggs are in the water when they are hatched they all just fly up directly up vertical and that's where the bridges are and uh it, it can get so bad they'll have to shut down the bridges because it's yeah, like they, driving uh... it's like driving on snow they turn the lights off, right? And yeah, then, that's what that's. And then sometimes it still doesn't help. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like it's just been rec- in recent years that they finally learned that. Oh, if you turn the lights off, they won't come up here. But yeah, because I remember leaving your house and you're like, "Yeah, watch out." I remember the first time I ever left uh, your place, and you're like, "Hey, be careful on the bridge." And I'm like, "What?" And then I drove home, and when I got over the bridge, dude. It was like the locust swarm of, of the Book of Revelations or whatnot. I was like, "Holy shit, what is this?" There's yeah, shadflies are gross too. They have a real stinky, swampy smell. And uh, when you drive a, when you drive over the bridge, yeah, you better you don't want to have any windows open. Didn't didn't it kill someone? Oh, I don't know if it killed someone. Right? I know they had to. Um, if you remember what bridge I'm talking about, uh, the bridge that they colla- or blew up a few years ago. Mm-hmm. It was the bridge that these shad flies would swarm so bad that a co- like cops would have to shut down the bridge because. Mm. Gotcha. That might be what I'm thinking of. So that's gonna be a nightmare fuel, hundred percent. Yeah, they just swarm and they're gross. They stink. All right. Now, now we have the silverfish. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen a silverfish, but it's only been centipedes. I've only ever seen twice in my life, and it was both in the basement of my parents' house. What they, what I've noticed, what they like to do is, and I don't want to sound like a nerd, but just like Minecraft, when you mine a block and it breaks, and then you see them pop out of the, under the block, that's <laughs> exactly what happens. So, like, you'll move something in the basement, and they'll pop out from under it, and they'll just go up the wall, and they'll and they'll just go up into the, like, at my parents' house, they don't have a finished basement, so the roof to the basement is exposed so you can see all the insulation shit from under the actual main floor of the house yeah. and they'll just purposely c- 
crawl up the wall as fast as they can and go right into the insulation. And you won't see it again for like six months. And then it'll come back and it'll do the same thing again. It's like the most passive-aggressive bug I think I've ever seen in my life. In Minecraft, they fucking attack you when you move something. Yeah. These, these in real life, they're scared as fuck. Yeah? So I think I think they belong in the, the sea list. Do they move as fast as centipedes? Uh, yeah, they're pretty fast. Yeah, I figured. Because they do not like light whatsoever. I figured they'd hide in damp, like, damp concrete yeah. basements. So that got put in the seeds here. So next up we have the sow bug or the dirt bug, depending on what you know them as. They're like the little, little black round bugs that you see at like if you're eating food outside or you're by a, a farmer's field. You'll see them here. That's and there probably where I've seen them is by, by like a cornfield or something or yeah. like in, in the dirt. They're just little black round little bugs. They Actually, have cute little legs. If you were to be digging up like a hole or something in your backyard, I'm not sure why you would be doing that. But if you're like digging for a fire pit or something, for example, and if you look in the dirt clumps that you're digging up, you'll see a couple of those beetles. Yeah, like when I chop wood at the or uh, that too. Yeah. at the shop, you know, when I'm when I'm smoking food, uh, when I when I pull up a log from the uh, the ground, you'll see like ten of them just scurry along the dirt, and you're like, oh, yeah. you're, you're a cute little fucker. So, honestly, I was going to put this on the cutie patootie tier, but I don't think they're actually that cute. So, I'm yeah. going to say a B tier. Yeah, it works. All right. Cool. Next up, we have the praying mantis. <laughs> now, th those are, I think, the, I've always thought those were cool. I've never gotten pinched by one because I know they, they look kind of scary and, like, they'll, they'll pinch you to death. But I just think they're cool. Yeah, when I was a very young kid, I thought it would fight me because of the way they stand. They look like they would know martial arts. <laughs> yeah, 100%. However, the reason I think they're so cool is, I don't know, I'm sure you know the, the knowledge of uh, the mantis, but when they mate, the woman eats the male's head, or rips it off yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I think this you ever deserves seen, to be You ever the seen their eyes? They're like really orange, aren't they? They can be or they can be different colors, but it's that they they will always follow you. Oh. But it's also because they have the kind of the same thing as flies. They kind of have three sixty vision. Mm -hmm. And if you, no matter where you look, you'll always see their pupils. That's crazy. I guess I've never noticed. Yeah, if you look at a picture of praying mantis eyes, they're they're crazy. So yeah, are you are you cool with the eight here? Yeah. Okay. All right, next one up is instantly nightmare fuel. It is the hold on, I want to get the I want to get the actual wasp? name. Yep, hundred percent a mud wasp, buddy. You ever seen one of those? Yeah, I used to always think they were just blue hornets, but I guess they are just mud wasps. Their their actual they name the, is the blue mud dauber. Yeah, they like to they like to burrow and they like to burrow and make their nests in the ground rather than traditional yeah. hornets who make nests on your house or a tree. And you walk and you will walk by the motherfucker, the nest they have in the ground, and about twelve of them will pop out, and you got to run for your fucking life. Cause if you, I know it, I know the picture's really bad here because there's a little square, but if you look at them close up on like a really high quality photo, mm -hmm. they're like the Ferrari of wasps. They're so sleek and nimble. <laughs> they have a, they have a real crazy. pretty color too though that's the problem is that they they have a cool color they're just horrifying to look at yeah so nightmare fuel it is all right next up we have the where to go we have the common tick uh i have a story about that hit me with it when I was about five or six, I I think is when I can remember. I barely remember it now, but I guess uh, I must have been walking on my parents' deck, for, like that was connected to our pool when I was mm -hmm. younger, real young, and uh, I think I don't remember if I was complaining about a pain in my foot or something. But my mom's, I guess, long story short, my mom saw a tick between my toes, and they had to use tweezers to rip it out. Yikes. And uh, I think I still, it was on my right foot. If you look between my pinky toe and the toe that's next to it, there's a little brown dot from where that tick was. You didn't get Lyme disease, did you? No. Okay. Because that's like, that's why I'm going to put it in Nightmare Fuels, because they give you Lyme disease. I don't know what 100%. Lyme, what is Lyme disease? Well, I, mean, I, I don't really know what Lyme disease it's, is. It's uh, 
I mean, it's one of those illnesses that you can never get rid of once you have it. So oh. it's like a lifelong thing. Um, in like Tennessee, I know for sure. I don't know about the ones here. But the Lyme disease you get in Tennessee from ticks is it gives you a meat allergy. So you can't eat red meat unless you take a pill beforehand. Huh. And basically you just have moderate cold-like symptoms for the rest of your life. Um, deer ticks are crazy. Uh, I think that's what I'm thinking of with the meat allergy. Um, so it's because if you're not careful, because I've seen people use uh, a lighter. Like, they'll try pulling it, but while they're pulling it, they'll have a heat next to it. Mm-hmm. Because I guess heat makes them unclench their fucking jaws. I don't know how that works. But if you pull it just ro- cold turkey, it's, you have a chance of ripping its body and keeping the head in your, stuck, right? Like, that's why that can, yeah, can happen. Yep. yep. They are crazy sons of bitches. That's why the tick right here is in nightmares for yeah. Next up, we have the sweat bee. And before we even talk about them, automatically they're in the cutie patootie list. What? I They don't sting you. I th- I think I've been stung by him before. You've never been stung by a sweat bee, hundred percent. It may be bitten. I think they're annoying. Really? Yeah. If I'm if I'm having real like if I'm having a real hot sweaty day or just, you know it's the summertime and I'm getting a little overheated, sure as shit that mother those motherfuckers will fly up to my arm and just kind of like swarm. He'll kind of they do the, you know how sweat bees work. They'll kind of they uh they fly static if that makes sense. Yeah, but then when they land on you, they just like. You know, they they just sit there and they crawl around on you and they're like, hey, what's up? And they fly away. I don't know, man. I've been, I, I get annoyed by them and I'll, 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 fi- I'll swat at them, not to kill them, but like, you know, get away from me. I'm like, shoo. Okay, you see this picture right here? You see how there's like four on this dude's hand? Yeah. When I was, when I used to ride my bike in the summertime, I would like stop for a moment just to like catch my breath here and there, like if I was doing a long ride. Yeah. And there'd like be four or five that just land on my hand. I'm like, oh. What are you doing? They just sit there and they'll, they like shake their ass or whatnot and they fly away. I'm like, oh, bye. yeah. <laughs> so okay, so I'll compromise with you. Can I put them in B tier at least? Yeah, because yeah. they're small and cute. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had so many land on me at once, but I always have the. I feel like maybe we're thinking of two different things because those look pretty small compared to what I'm thinking of for a sweat bee. Maybe you think a sweat bee is a wasp. <laughs> No, <laughs> Jesus. Sweat. All right. Let me know when you're ready for the next insect. Oh yeah, we're doing, we're thinking of the same things. They have a really big head but a really slender body. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. little, little tiny wings. Uh, next up, we have the pill bug. You ever seen a pill bug? Those look like a really pulley as well. They're kind of like the uh, the dirt bug. Or just kind of little round things that live in the ground, I guess, as far as I know. I, I guess oh my I've god, it's the them. bugs that do, they roll up into a ball. Are those the ones? Those are the original roly-poly. Okay, so where you wanted that? <laughs> um, maybe A tier? Yeah, because they're kind of cute <laughs> when they roll up into a little ball. They roll into a ball and they can move like that. Okay, actually, okay. I, don't know if, I don't know if they can move like that. But they do roll up into a, into a little ball. That's okay. We'll put it in the ace here because they are a little cute when they roll around. All right, next up we have the wolf spider. Oh, fucking nightmare fuel. 100%. I used to get these. We actually. I still get them. I'm sure I'm going to get them in the summer. Yeah, my parents every month uh, on the dot, uh, they have a exterminator come out to the house because they have wolf spiders so bad that when we moved in, you couldn't step in the basement floor without stepping on one. You had to wear shoes. Oh, That's how many that were in there. It's when, it's when you turn your flashlight on and they're so big that their eyes reflect back at you. Mm. It's, ugh. Yeah, Fucking wolf spiders. And, they're, and they don't make webs. They, they strictly hunt by, gra- by just walking around. Yep. And when they do make webs, that's the scariest thing because you don't know what their next move is. Um... I've never, I haven't seen too many wolf spiders in a long time since we've moved, other than moving stuff out of the basement as well. But uh, um, last house we lived in, I had a real big problem with the common house spider. It's it's literally oh, it's yeah, literally yeah. just the, it's like those white or yellowish colored spiders that will hide up on the corners of ceilings. 
I had a lot of pro I had like I killed like twenty of those before I moved out. Oh, gotcha. They're gross. I hate them. Oh, I actually put uh, the stink bug on here twice. So okay, no, so the just, that's just the one that I one. normally see right there. Yeah. So just to, just to ignore that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, next up we have, what, what is it? Where is it? Okay, this is a water bug. The next one we have up here. Oh, gross. I'm actually just gonna put, I'm gonna put the stink bug, where do we put the other one at? Uh, C tier. Okay, we're just gonna put it, we're just gonna put it next to it. Just okay, so yeah. I know. Um, so the water, the water bug. Uh, usually you see these just kind of like chilling out on a pool or in a lake or a river. They're just they kind of like bite. on the... Yeah, they. If you swim up next to them, they're gonna fucking bite you, and then they'll try to swim away as fast as they can, but they're slow as fuck. It's not so that you can they just take them out and throw them. It's not that they you swim up to them. It's that I decided to be a dumbass when I was like five, and I scooped it up in my hand. I was like, oh, it's so cute. Ah! Because I, uh, <laughs> it, yeah, when it was like the most like horrendous pinch from a bug I've ever received, like worse than a horse fly. Like it fucking hurt. But it didn't leave oh. a, it didn't leave a mark. Yeah, no, they just hurt. I had to okay, so I'm not trying to be sound like a nerd, but I had to do a lot of research on that insect because in high school I've told you the story I think. In high school I had to do a report on like uh in bi my biology class I had to do a report on like insects it might have been insects of the Midwest. Or no. I think it was just most like interesting insects or something, and I chose something from the Amazon forest. It's just a bigger version of what you have, or what we're talking about, that water bug. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called the toe biter. Okay. Um, so, that picture's kind of cutting off the front of it, but... Uh, yep. Um, the toe biter has these two big mandibles on the front of it that look like they grab your toe and that's when he bites you. But uh, he also has this, like, straw-like... Um, uh, apparatus on the front of it and when it bites an insect it has this venom substance that it injects into their uh, prey and it kind of melts them from the uh, their, smel melts their insides Jesus and then they, Christ. They, they, they slurp up the insect like a milkshake I didn't know you were so knowledgeable on fucking insects holy shit <laughs> this is crazy if you look up a toe biter dude like you'll, you'll okay you're gonna see a brave wilderness thumbnail I guarantee it but <laughs> well either way this this water bug's going in the d tier yeah fucking annoying and and they hurt so yeah all right next up we have the wasp just a just a regular nope 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 let me make that clear because i have wasp on here as a separate thing this is a yellow jacket oh those are the assholes right nightmare fuel 100 percent. i get those in the food truck all the time they follow you around to, uh... they're like give me your little bitch yeah, I have to like uh, tie a knot on the end of a wash rag, and basically just fucking hit them out of the out of the air, because they just there's like ten of them that'll fly around at once. I don't know if I they're always trying to land on me. Right. I don't know if I've ever just gotten lucky, but I've never been stung by a wasp or a bee, anything with a stinger on its on its rear end. I've never been stung by. I will when we get to it. I will I will tell a story about the one I've been stung by. I've not been stung by a yellow jacket yet. So as far but. as I know. Whenever a doctor asks me if I'm allergic to anything, I tell them no. But I've never been stung by a bee, so I don't. I will never know if I'm. Uh, well, unless I do get stung, I will never. I've never known if I'm allergic to bees or not. Uh, it's. I think it's expensive, but you can get a allergen test done on your back oh. and see what you're allergic to or not. On your back. Like, yeah, they take like these little squares of paper. And they put like the most common allergens there is, and they'll just put them all or all across your back. Oh. And you, they wait. They make you wait two days at home, and then you come back, and they take them off. And they're like, "Okay, you're allergic to this. You're not allergic to this, etc." Oh, all right. Uh, next up we have the. Let me find the picture of it. Oh God, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I did put the centipede on here. This is the centipede. Yeah, fucking nightmare fuel. One hundred percent. You see how long those fucking legs are? Yeah, Ugh, it's like just... it's like a silverfish on steroids. Fuck that thing, dude. Why do they have legs on their on their ass? How are they going to use those? I think those are antennas. Oh, probably. 
I've never been bit so, by those either. I just think they're gross looking. So, yeah, they're very they're very disgusting. This next one you can't really see it. I'm sure because okay, so uh, just for reference, Trey's looking at my screen through Discord. So, uh, I know he's probably not gonna be able to see what this one is because it's on a tree and it's almost the same color as a tree. But this is a cicada. Oh yeah. The, they come around every like seventeen years or so. That that's 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 the uh, main cicada. Now we get annual cicadas, which are every two to five years, which are the ones that make the buzzing sound on trees. I'm sure you're you've heard before. Yeah. I think they should be at an A tier because I love that noise. There, I mean, yeah, it's a relaxing noise. But I remember seeing a meme a few years ago where someone said, "Like I finally caught this asshole," and he du- he taped a cicada down on a piece of paper. And then he put earbuds next to each side of its head. <laughs> I think you sent me that. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's like I finally caught this asshole, and he's just p- blasting music in Cicada's ear. If they have right, ears. Those, that, go, that goes in the A tier. I think. Okay. It's 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 cool when you find their uh their when they molted. Yeah, when they when they uh, take the shell off. That's yeah. why they're on the tree, is so they can uh, shed their shell or whatnot. That's usually what you find is just their. You can crunch them in your hand. It's cool. Um, uh, sorry, I don't mean to, I, that buzzing sound they make. It, I've seen. I think you've me, you've me have probably both seen this video. It's uh it's like a vibration thing they do with their with their legs. I think. Yep. It's like something they like rub them back and forth yeah. so fast that it makes a buzzing sound or something like that. Which it's very unique on how they do it, but it's very calming to hear. It's Insects definitely cool. one of those things when you hear it, and you're like, "Oh my god, this is summer." Uh, so the next one up is the paper wasp. Now, this is the one I have been stung by, and I will tell the story. So me and my dad, I, I had just gotten my car, my first car, okay, which was the Jeep. Yeah, I was mowing the lawn with my dad. And uh, we got to the driveway, which is where my uh, car, or my Jeep was. And we had noticed that a, at the time we didn't know what it was. We just thought it was a railer wasp. Went into my my uh, side mirror, right? And my dad's like, okay, well, let me go get the wasp spray. I'll be right back. So Your he goes side the garage, mirror right? on the Jeep? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. I, I'm, I'm looking at it to make sure it doesn't pop back out because I want to kill it because I don't want it in there and I'm driving along and it comes into the window because I usually have my windows down and it, yeah. you know, sting me or whatnot. So I'm sitting there looking at it to make sure and I must have just gotten like one step too close. Five of these paper wasps come shooting out of this side mirror, okay? I freak out, I scream, and I turn around to run away and that fucker was so fast to get me Jesus. When I moved my arm back to like start running, it hit the back of my arm. I have never screamed so loud in my life than when I got stung by a paper wasp. And that <gasps> shit hurt so bad. And I had the biggest well on the back of my arm for like a month straight. When wasps sting you, do they die? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, so do honeybees. When yeah, they I, was, I, didn't know, I didn't know if wasps work the same as bees, because I know when bees sting you, their fucking intestines fall out, so... I, I don't know which wasp it is. It might be the paper wasp, it might be the yellow jacket, but one of them do not die when they sting yeah, you. Yeah, they can sting you multiple times before they die. Yeah. But either way, this paper wasp is nightmare fuel. Is it true that you can avoid getting stung if you jump into water? Uh, they say that. And I'm pretty sure it's true, but I, I don't, I've don't. i never seen someone test it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, next up we have, now this is, what, okay, now we're back to where we started. This is the box elder bug. Yeah. These annoying fuckers. They These just, they just multiply, house. yeah, they don't do anything, they just kind of multiply and invade. They just walk yeah. around. Not much to say about them, they're just like the, the, Asian, the Asian beetle, they just kind of chill out and they're a nuisance, so that's a D tier. 100%. They kind of have a weird smell to them. Like they smell like they smell like a closet. Mhm. Now, you can't really see this image, but this is the pond skimmer. I think this is what you were talking about earlier. Oh, the water these are the, like these are the water bugs that, spiders. Yeah, they they stand on the water and they glide. Yes. Yeah. 
I don't think they re- they don't I don't think they sting you or bite you or anything. I don't think so either. So I mean, I would put them in either uh, B tier or A tier. Yeah, I'll I'll go B because because I don't think they're really cute per se, but they're they're definitely very passive. Yeah. All right. You ever seen how fast they go? Oh yeah, when they get moving, they fucking move. <laughs> Next up, we have the, I believe this is a cricket. Hold on. Let me make sure. Yep, this is the cricket. Those I believe are, those... the cricket should go in the A tier. Yeah. They make that really nice noise. It's very whenever, uh, nostalgic. But whenever, but whenever they hear you, they go quiet. Yeah, it's very weird how that works. Like, I'll get out of my car or something in the summertime, and if there's a cricket near my car, they'll instantly stop making their noise, but when I walk away, they'll start back up. It must be a thing out of fear, right? Yeah, they're like, oh, shit, like what is that? Yeah. Like, oh, shit, be quiet. Turn, them, turn the party down. <laughs> Next up, we have the earwig. I don't know if they really do anything. I don't know if they actually do do anything with their stingers on the back. No, but they're scary looking. Yeah, you can put those in D, D, either D or Nightmare Fuel. I would say. I'm not scared of them, so I'll go D. All right, yep. All right. I guess ladybugs do bite. Do they? I've heard. I've never been bit by one. I have never either. So because so Trey's saying that because that is the next one up. I would say hands down, ladybugs go on cutie patootie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're because oh, oh, they're very rare around here anymore because of the Asian beetle took it over. Right. So definitely, definitely cutie patootie tier. And then, so we have our last one. You ready for this? Yeah. What is that picture? That is a moth. Is that the face of the moth? Well, it, it's like the like a butterfly when it spreads its, its wings or whatnot. Oh, well, okay. I said I asked if it looks like a face because if you look at that, it looks like a fucking alien. Yeah, the, so I believe if I remember this is a tiger moth. You ever seen a lunar moth? I Yes, they're kind of the same thing. Lunar moths are huge and they look so cool and I thought it was a bird when I was younger, but I was like, that's, a, that's an insect, that's a moth. Yeah, so you have your regular moths that, like, there's the small little white things that go little... towards the light. Yeah, those don't bother me. I like, I yeah, no, this, that's cool. not what I'm talking about, though. This is this is what you're talking about, those big fuckers that are beautiful looking. Yeah. So why is that? Butterflies and moths, are, they're cool. They're cool looking. They have uh, unique designs on their back or on their wings. Yeah, I don't... I've and never they, looked up why they have those. They do that, well, kind of like how they just perceived me. Um, I'm assuming when they do that with their wings, they're making themselves look bigger so that they're not eaten. I'm going to guess so. Especially moths because they're definitely more uh, timid than a butterfly, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Uh, but I I honestly would even go as far as to say moths sometimes when you get a certain one, they're more uh, pretty than a butterfly. Yeah. So I would think moths go on the cutie patootie list. That works. Awesome. Look at that. We rounded out the list, buddy. Let's read it. I'm going I'm to read it entirely, and then we'll call it a day, okay? Yep. So we got the cutie patootie list here with the honeybee, the butterfly, the caterpillar, the dragonfly, the firefly, the ladybug, and the moth. A tier, we have the praying mantis, grasshopper, pill bug, uh, cicada, and grasshopper. B tier, we have the roly-poly. The Dirt Bug, the Sweat Bee, and the Pond Skimmer. C tier, we have the Asian Beetle, uh, the Stink Bug, the Daddy Long Leg, the... I forget what these are called already. Oh my god. A Japanese Beetle, yep. and Silverfish. D tier, we have the Ant, the Deer Fly, the Fish Fly, the House Fly, the Gnat, the Mosquito, the Water Bug, the Box Elder Bug, and the... Uh, fuck, what are these called? Uh, earwig earwig it's kind of funny how the d tier they're all like the they're all the insects that have the goofy little body or they're the ones that fly around and you know they're just kind of there and then the nightmare fuel we have the oh god oh god i don't want to call it that name again what are these actually called what are you looking at oh no the red the red one clover mite yeah, oh clover mite oh, okay. the clover mite 
the flea, the horse fly. I love how we put the deer fly at D and the horse fly at nightmare fuel. That's some fun shit. So for nightmare fuel, the clover mite, the flea, the horse fly, the Pigeon horn fly tail. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The shad fly, the mud dauber, the <laughs> tick, the wolf spider, the yellow jacket, the centipede, and the paper wasp. Now, I'm sure there's more that I've missed, and if so, please let me know so I can either add it to the video, or I won't be added to the video because it'll already be out, but I can pin it in the comments section, and we can talk about it uh, on the next episode before we start our next event, you know. Um, if you would rate these differently, please let me know in the comments, and Trey will read it too if he gets it before I do, because uh, you can look at the Spotify ones in the YouTube comments. Uh if you enjoyed the episode, please let us know so we can make another tier list, because I think this was very fun. Would you agree? Yes. Uh, I thought the next one we would do if this worked out would be... I think you said birds, right? Yeah. I think birds would be cool, and then we can go away from animals and do uh, like the Midwestern fast food tier list. Because <laughs> yeah. I think we have some places that other people don't that we can actually judge upon ourselves. Yeah, like and... down south they have a... I think it's called... Is it Jack in the Box or Hungry Jack's? Yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, I know. And I, I feel like they're just a Wendy's. It's it's all the same fucking thing at the end of the day, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, but either I way... Know, Culver's is unique. <clears throat> that's a fucking <laughs> S-tier. Goddamn. And we, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Yes, so yes. Please let us know if you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a bit longer, but I think it'll be fun for everyone to... If, you know, when we start talking about an insect or a fast food place or a bird or whatever and they go it should be here and then we put it somewhere else you're like ah oh, fuck you or yeah you know stuff like that i think that's fun for people to interact with themselves so either way thank you for listening to the big break room pot the break room podcast i got it right that time and uh we hope you guys have a great week and we will talk to you guys next saturday goodbye see you guys Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>